back, everybody, to another edition of the Breakdown Podcast. We have more content coming. It's coming soon. The end of the year is actually coming, so I won't be able to have these cameras for very long. The next, the next time I'll be having these cameras will, will probably be like around Sunday. So after that, it's gonna be wraps for the podcast. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I'm going back to New York, and then I'm gonna have to buy my own equipment. But look, it's more to come. I'm gonna do full reviews in the city. I'm gonna graduate, and I hope all you guys who are graduating though, you guys have a very, very successful life and Works. life. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you guys are doing, grad school, you guys are doing, um, whatever you guys are doing, just keep doing it, keep praying. And just keep manifesting your dreams, all right? Yeah, but guys, I only have almost 30 subscribers. Let's get it up to 100. Roll to 100. I'm trying to be successful. I know you guys want to see me successful. That's what that's what you guys are tuning in. You know, we got more content to come, man, all right? And I got a very special guest here today. Very special guest. It's my son, my homie, my dog. What's is Yomi. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Yomi, What's up? <laughs> How you doing today, bro? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I'm not going to lie. I actually don't even know your last name. My last name is Russell. Russell. Yeah. That's actually a really strong name. You know me, Russell. Yeah, like, I know. Like a Russell Westbrook. Yeah, you feel me? You yeah. Like, Around that little something, something. Like, like a rock roller. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, rock, all right. it's all shits and giggles, but nah, I appreciate you coming on. Of How course. are you today? You doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good so far. So, well, so far, so good. Sun shining, so why not? You know? You got you got good sleep? You good? I don't even get sleep like that. I got insomnia, so I don't really get sleep mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, I be up to like 4 or 5 in the morning, go to sleep, wake up before like 12, <laughs> and I'll have a great day. Word, yeah. word, word. That's what's up, that's what's up. You know, what, you know the saying, though, in Nas, sleep is the cousin of death. Shit, that's why I never sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's I why never I don't sleep. sleep. I never sleep, bro. I never sleep. <laughs> why don't you tell the audience where you're from? Uh, I'm from New York City. I'm from the Lower East Side. Uh, if y'all know Lower East Side, if y'all know Soho, it's all around that area. Um, you know, you got you got Chinatown, Soho. You got shit all the Lower East Side. You got First Ave, Second Ave, Third Ave. I'm only up there, so I'm 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 like I'm 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 where like you know New York is kind of known for. Really, to be honest, I would say. Okay. All the rappers, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, shout out to Lower East Side. Lower East Side, Lower East Side. That's like the manifestation, like the dream for me. Nah, like, yeah, it is. I would it like is. to have a penthouse or something like down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shit, man, man, life out there is crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie, it's not like Tim, but New York is something. So that never sleep is that's definitely one of the things that I say that. Well, my pops used to work down there too, but that's this was before 9/11. But yo, real shit though, what brought you? What brought you here to Tampa? What brought you here from New York City? You want you want the you want the you want the easy answer or you want the real answer? It's uncensored, man. I want the real uncut uncut answer. I I tell you this. I tell you this. So, I was I went to school upstate New York, Wells College. That's my undergrad. So I did business management and minor healthcare. And I don't know, like college was not for me at all. It was not for me. I was not even trying to do college to be honest. It was more of a like an escape from reality while I was really going through it back at home in New York. Um. I really came to Tampa because of weather. Fuck snow. I, fuck snow. Word. Fuck snow. Yeah. I was like, I need something else. Let's go somewhere else. I didn't even know about Tampa at all. I just knew about Miami and Jacksonville. Mm. Um, even though you had the Tampa Bucks and Lightning, I didn't even know about, I don't even watch football or, or hockey, so I don't even care about them. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Let's really get into it. Uh, <laughs> undergrad, I was going through a lot. Uh, 2020, I got shot on my side hip. Wrong place, right time. Whoa, right time, wrong place. Um, had to leave New York, went to California. I was not, yeah, I was not, I was, after that, it was my senior year of college. I was, fuck school. I was done. I was done, done. I was not going to go back. Never went to the hospital for it because it was too much going on. Uh, then I was already, I had a girlfriend then by then, an ex-girlfriend. She was toxic as hell. Toxic Spanish girl. Toxic as hell. And Just she, on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, she's from New York though. She's from New York. She's from New York, so like she, I was going out with her, and she was going through this whole other shit that she had going on with her, her other, her other lifestyle. And when I got shot, I just up and left to up, up and left to Cali. And when I was in Cali, she got into a fight in New York, and her mom was like, "You know, you're a great guy. I'm gonna have a move out there with you." And I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, hold on, wait a minute." She like, "Yeah, like I'm gonna make her quit her job, all this other shit." Like, yeah, yeah. So I was like, on the phone, like, "Huh? What are you talking about?" And she was like, "Don't worry about it." Hung up the phone on me. So I'm talking to my boy, like, yo, bro, like, Sophia about to come out here. 
He like, for real? I'm like, I'm so dead ass. I'm like, I'm so serious. He's like, for real? I'm like, yeah. He like, all right. Like, for real? I'm like, yeah. I'm about to send me the ticket. Two hours later, I get a plane ticket. That shit coming at 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, my mind dropped. I went over there, went to go pick her up. Like, she never been to California, so I had to show her around. Mm-hmm. Food, spots, all that kind of stuff. Um, by then, we was in Cali. I was By that then, I thought I was going to live in Cali. My life was Cali. Wow. And I ain't going to lie. School called me, like, you got to pay this kind of money. And I was like, bet. I'm a, <laughs> bet. If I got to break up with this girl, not bring her with bet. I'm going to do it. Paid it right there on the spot, went back to school, and, you know, COVID was a big thing at the time, so I had to go back, you know, all that kind of stuff, so I went back, had to do the whole quarantine at her house, we were still a thing, um, doing the quarantine, there was a lot of other shit going on, like, my, you know, it was a lot of, living in New York, I would say, like, alright, so people live in New York, right, cool, you hear New York, you hear Long Island, Brooklyn, all that other shit, you don't, that's not really New York to me, yeah. like, New York I'm is the city, you feel me, yeah. like, so, me living in New York, I, had, I lived a double life, like, I... I, I got two deaf parents, so my first language is sign language. Mm-hmm. So people always ask me, like, who raised you? Who raised you? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Wow. I really can't say that. I think the streets raised me. I think people of brothers, sisters, mothers raised me. But, like, my parents showed me. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> like, I don't even know. That's crazy to say that. Not going to lie. I, I really, when you told me at the courtyard, like, one time, like, yo, I'll dead ass teach you sign language. Like, yeah. I thought you was, I thought nah, you was joking. Nah, was both, my, both my parents was deaf. I lived in the deaf building. I went to a deaf school all the way up to what? third grade. At the third grade, my mom was like, yo, you should go to school. Everybody else speak. And I was like, fuck, no. Fuck that. She was like, nah, it would be good for you. I was like, nah, fuck that. Went to school, third grade. You sitting there, you in a classroom with all kids talking, talking 24 7. And you just there, like, so nobody gonna speak sign language? Nobody gonna know anything? Like, what's going on? And by then, I was just like, I can't do this. I really can't do this. After third grade, that's, I think that's when my assignment really kicked in. I lived in the deaf building, and because there was so much sound, like, I got used to that so quick. So me living in a deaf building, imagine a building where no one speak. So nighttime, when it's lights, lights off, everything's off, you hear every single thing going on. Damn. Like, so by then, i just stay up. I wouldn't even go to sleep. I swear to God, I wouldn't go to sleep. And... I don't know. I think, I think that caused a big, a big kind of thing to who I am today. Based on my personality, it's just the fact of like, money never sleeps. You should never sleep if you're not comfortable while you're sleeping. Um, so me going back to that now, me living in New York, I pff, went through so much shit, like <laughs> so much. Um, I did made a lot of money. I did met a lot of people. I did 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 this did this did not like I did everything you could ever think of: clubbing, drinking, everything you yeah, think about at a young age. Yeah, at a, yeah, yeah. At a, I was doing this since I was like eleven. Once I came to like that, yeah. Once I came to Tampa, yeah. Once I came to Tampa, it was like regular. It wasn't like, oh, this is some new shit. It was like, just I already did it all. Like you feel me? So I never had a fake ID. Like I was going to liquor stores. I was twelve buying liquor. Like it was that kind of stuff, you know. So, yeah. um, so yeah. So we was in California. Came back, had a quarantine, and when I got shot, it was one of those like, what you gonna do? Like, is this your time? Is that is that it? Like you gonna go to school? Finish what you gonna do? And I think I got so used to the school system of, like, staying in the college dorm. Like, almost, like, as if, like, I don't know. New York was not the place for me. Like, I love it. I I show love to it. But I don't need to live there at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to understand, like, when you're growing up and growing up, like, you got to give thanks to where you're from. But, like, you got to pay homage. Yeah, you got to pay homage. But if you want to still do the same thing around the same people, where are you growing at? Like, where's the growth at? You feel me? So... I don't know, like, I've always been that kind of person to where, like, I'm a street smart and school school smart kind of person, which is to other people is very dangerous. Because if you street smart and school smart, somebody don't like you. Because you know too much. You know everything. You, you're on point. Like, you feel me? So it's like, um, sorry to keep going back. But, yeah, came back to Cal- came back from Cali, quarantine. I was like, I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to finish my senior year out and just, oh, do it. Um Broke up what school? What school did you go to in Cali? Went to well, no, upstate New York, Wells College. No, Wells College, and you said you went to Cali. I thought you. Went no, to I went school. to Cali because I was in Leave Cali. Leave Cali. Okay. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, I was in. I, when I got shot, I went to Cali. I was wait, never. Wait, wait, yeah, I, I was never. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, went to Wells College, upstate New York, top five haunted schools in America. Yeah. In fucking bum, bumblefuck. Where West bumblefuck. Yeah, yeah like West bumblefuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm talking about like. You you drive up there, you lose connection. <laughs> You in the middle of nowhere. You got to drive to go off campus. There's no parties. They don't party ever. Yeah. There's cost you from the lake. Get the coldest, coldest effect. Or something like all that kind of shit. Damn. So like I was smoking my life away. I'm not. 
Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think I give thanks to Walls College. I'm not going to lie because um, I'm, I'm a big party person. I'm a big, like, I like to get lit. I like to have yeah, fun. Right. You feel me? So when I went to Walls College, it, wasn't one, it was one of those schools where it was like, this is a school that whoever you thought you was in New York, you're not going to be like that here. Mm. And it was true. It was like, a second chance. Yeah, it, it, it was. It mm. really was. And like I said, I, wasn't, I, I didn't want to do college. Like, I had, I already had family problems going on. I had people at home problems going on. I was already taking care of people's lifestyles, paying for this, paying for that. Like, I didn't want to go to school. School was not for me. Um, you, was doing all, you was doing all this before 18, taking, yeah, people's, yeah. taking care of people's taking finances. Taking care of people, paying for shit, all that, yeah, uh, before 18. And then I felt like I didn't want to do it no more, so I went to school. You know, it's, um, it's interesting that you brought that perspective up because, you know, about your sign language history and, you know, Knowing when to speak when spoken to, it's something. It's a mechanism that a lot of people do in business meetings and corporate meetings about not showing your hand, not showing your cards, and you don't want the other person in the room to know that you're the smartest person in the room. Facts. If you speak too much and you're not you're not being spoken to, you're not going to be taken seriously, and you're you're revealing your cards too much. So, a lot of things that you're saying though makes a lot of sense now because I would say this personally, I need to work on this. You told me this to my face. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that for mm-hmm. being real. Yeah, my of father, my father is something, somebody who he is more of you. I'm, I would say like I'm more of an opposite of him when it comes to this perspective, this aspect of like just looking at you and just listening before I speak, receiving mm-hmm. the information. Like I'm hearing you, but I'm not listening. Nah, yeah, I get and that. I, I get that. I, I, I struggle with that. I'm still working on it, mm-hmm. but. I really appreciate you bringing that, that thing up because now it's making more sense. Every, everything comes with practice and time. I'm going to actually tell you something else besides that story, actually. Um, so, obviously, you know I know sign language, right? Yeah. And people don't know that. People will never know that about me. You would never, you like, that wouldn't even come across your mind. Yeah. Me telling you I got shot, me sign language, me making that mon- ma- mad money, cars, like, you yeah. would never believe that. I don't tell people that. Like, only because the fact that, like, like, I don't know, being from New York, like, you, you're a target on your, that's a target on your back, I feel like, so easily. Just because the fact that, like, when you, when they know you're from New York, they expect you got money, right? Cool. That's, that's, I'm okay with that. Now, you meet other people, you start talking, start talking, start talking, and I used to be a friendly person. I used to fuck with people, heavy, heavy, like, yeah. talk to anybody. Yeah. And now you grow up, you see people do, it's so much weird energy in the air. It's so much weird intentions going on. You don't know what's people's real intentions. You don't know what, what they got. You don't know what they're really thinking of when you tell them shit. So I don't say nothing. I don't. Like, you could talk a whole thing, and I might give you little two or three word answers, but I'm not going to say you take my story. Nah. And not only comes to that, I only, I'm only going to tell you my story if I feel like you deserve my story. Mm-hmm. And when I say deserve my story, that's more than like, uh, I, can be, I can be a homeless, like, perfect. I met a homeless guy yesterday on the mm-hmm. walk, right? Man came sat next to me. I'm smoking. Sat next to me. Can I smoke you? Can I, can I smoke with you? I'm like, nah, fuck that. Like, I ain't gonna let you smoke. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. He's like, nah, nah, nah. Like, let me, let me talk to you real quick. I'm like, all right, what's up? Man didn't even mean to be homeless. He was telling me his story, and I was just there, like, I really didn't give a fuck. But, like, if you feel like you could talk to me and make your day better, go ahead. I'm mm-hmm. not, never gonna shut you out. Yeah. I'm never gonna do that. Cause you don't know what somebody's going through. Yeah, right. And the man's telling me his story about, you know, he's got in jail, he got all these kids, and. He's not trying to be homeless. He's trying to get back home where he is. Like, he's trying to be better than he was, right? And the first thing he asked me, he goes, why have I not reacted to anything he said? Mm. And I was like, what you mean? Like, I'm saying something. He's like, nah, but your face not saying nothing. I'm like, bro, like, I know what you're going through. I've been through some of it. And we had two different ages. What you mean? So now I start telling my life story. Like, like there's so much about, I've been homeless before. I've been homeless. Yeah, hell, yo, bro. <laughs> yo, bro, 10th grade year. Like, I've been homeless before. 10th grade year. Um, dead ass? Yeah, dead ass, dead ass. 10th grade year. Uh, this is like the day before New Year's Eve. No, nah, day before New Year's. And I didn't, my mom moved up to the Bronx before we moved, before we moved to um, Manhattan. And Where in the Bronx? This Wakefield? This is Mount Vernon. Yeah, yeah. Mount yeah, Vernon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shout so, out Wakefield real quick. Yeah, I got family, Wakefield. I got family in Wakefield. Yeah, yeah, shout out Wakefield, Mount Vernon. Um, and... I never really, I never really slept in my mom's crib because, like, I, I'm not really close with family like that. I don't really fuck with family. Family was the first people to teach me that they would do you wrong more than anybody else in this world, and that's supposed to be your your backbone. The people you trust, you tell to, they, you feel me? They hold you down. Fuck no, that's not true. So because of that, I didn't really fuck with my mom's family like that. My mom's, my mom's my dog. That's my rock right there. That's my best. Friend. That's my best friend. Me too. Me too. Her family, fuck them. I don't really care about them. And I was coming back. I just came from my friend's house. Coming back home to get some change of clothes to go back to my friend's house. And to my mom, I was like, yeah, go ahead. Do what you got to do. Cool. 
home back in club dumb hype. It's about to be New Year's. I'm about to get drunk. I'm about to get lit with the guys. Coming yeah. New Year. Yeah. Uncle coming. He like, yo, where you going? I'm like, I'm going out with my friends for New Year's. He's like, no, you're not. I'm like, what you mean? He like, you're not going nowhere. I'm like, my mom's like, no, you're not my parent. He like, all right. I'm like, all right. My mom's like, what's going on? So I'm interpreting like, yo, like this is what he said. This is what he said. And he like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm like, all right. He like, he come back in the room like, yo, make sure you pack everything. I'm like, what you mean everything? He like, just pack. I'm like, all right. So my mom like, pack everything. He like, she like, all right, bring your duffel bag for the weekend. You good? Like, don't worry about it. I'm like, all right, cool. Duffel bag. In my head, I'm thinking, pack a suitcase. Just pack a suitcase. But I'm like, I'm packing a suitcase. Don't worry, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I pack a suitcase and I'm like, yeah, like, fuck it. Like, I pack a suitcase. So I'm like, cool. Pack a suitcase. I'm walking out the street. I see him pull up next to me. Yo, you got your shit? All right, never come back. Whoa. <laughs> You serious? But what though? I don't know. I really don't know. They Jamaican, so you know, you know Jamaicans. Yeah, know Jamaicans. yeah so they yeah. they a little hard headed. So that happened. Whatever. Walking to the train, call my friend like, "Yo, I just got kicked out the crib." For real, yeah. Tenth grade year, I probably been kicked out since then. Never went back home. Like I've been homeless. I was homeless from tenth grade to like probably till twenty twenty, and that was twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen, and twenty twenty. That ass. I was homeless for that long. Going back, like I would go to school, go to my friend's house, like wake up in my friend's house, like. Like his family was like my family. Shout out, shout out to y'all, Tyler, all of them. Like that's my real family right there. No, no cap. And they held it down when you held it the most, down. Yeah. Like I owe people so much in life. What I done? Like I got no regrets, but I have karma. Like I don't know me being kicked out, me being shot, getting money, all that. Like I'm happy for the person I am today. Um, to be honest, like I wouldn't even trade it for anything in the world. Like I wouldn't. And I think, I think everybody out there who's going through a lot, just keep your head up, bro. Like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It may it may not be visible, but I'm telling you, there's a light. Don't give up. I want to give up so many times. I'm just like, bro, keep going. There's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of people to meet, connections, all that. You got it, bro. Like, shit's not easy. So when you came to Tampa, that's more like your next step, I would say, right? Yeah, you I'm, met a lot of people. Hell you yeah, connected with a lot of people. I've seen you with a lot of people. Hell a lot yeah. of people who are marketing on media and social media, TikTok and like or that. OnlyFans, all that. And that that wasn't even my thing. I don't even yeah. do none of that. But like. I met these people, and they like my best friends. Now. I fuck with all of them. Like word. you feel me? And like, I only plan to be in Tampa for the next two years. After that, like my life is gonna be somewhere else, another chapter. And what do you what do you see your next future at? I really want to live in Toronto, but I might go to Texas for a little while just to see how it is over there. But okay. I'm gonna live in Toronto. That's like my resting place. You got family there? Nah, I got family there. See, yeah. there you go. I've been in Toronto a couple, of, like, for like five or six years. So, okay, like, yeah. So like. I fuck with Toronto. Toronto, I'm just done with the U.S. shit. I'm done with the way America runs their shit. Yeah. I'm, I just want to be having, be free without any restrictions, limits kind of thing. Yeah, so, I feel you. I mean, but Canada though has some restrictions too. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. When it came to like COVID and all that stuff, we're not yeah, going to get into that though. But they, you know, free, you know, free week dispensaries, free healthcare, no, <laughs> yeah. no homeless people. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't got problem with homeless people, but it's less than what they got than what we got over here. And I'm, I'm with that. Like, I want some clean shit, some nice people, quiet shit. Like, I'm a person who stay to myself, and I'm always going to stay to myself. Cause also, the Jamaican food, too. There. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's multicultural. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. They got the Indian food. They got hell everything. Yeah. Polish food, bro. I'm trying to go see another different life in another country. Like, I'm not trying to I'm trying to expand my horizons. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, if you, don't, if you don't expand, you're just going to be stuck where you are. Mm. So, if, you, if you're always comfortable, if you're comfortable where you're at, that's the problem. If you're yeah. comfortable where you're doing, that's the problem. I'm never comfortable. I go to sleep. I'm not even comfortable in my own bed. Mm. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm never comfortable. I don't know what the comfortable feeling is, but I'm never comfortable. And for that, like, I just tell you, just keep your head up. Keep going. I appreciate that. Yo, of man, course, I really man. Do. Of I course. Really do. I'm going to get you out with a little quick questions, right? Real quick, though. Can you plug in your handles for the socials? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Instagram is not Yomi. N-O-T, Yomi with three eyes at the end. Same thing on TikTok is not Yomi. Um, I don't have Snapchat. I've been banned for Snapchat for almost four months. <laughs> I remember that shit. Yo, <laughs> he texted me. He's like, yo, bro, call me right now because my shit's not sending through. <laughs> my shit's been banned for four months. So, yeah, um, TikTok IG, not Yomi uh, with three eyes at the end. Then you can follow me, talk to me there, I, you know, reach out, all that kind of stuff, chill, do whatever you want to do. And, yeah, thank you for having me, man, for real. No, no problem, no problem, bro. I got Guys, I got a question for you real quick though. You know, you have you been watching basketball at all? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You know the Knicks are up right now. Yo, bro. Yo, up the right last now, time bro. I was a Knicks fan was when Raymond Felton was on the team. That I said. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so we're talking, we're talking like 
late 2000s, early 2010s. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he yeah. came on twice. He was there with David Lee yep, yep, in yep. 2006 around that time. Yo, bro. And then he came on again during the mellow. That's crazy, Gal- right? Galanari type it's of era. That's crazy, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, to be from New York right now, where he at right now is uh, like. Facts, <laughs> facts. You gotta reverse the Miami Heat, bro. Like it's the 90s, for real. <laughs> It's unbelievable. It's fucker, unbelievable, we here. Bro. Fucker, we ball. <laughs> we balling, bro. Yo, you don't even have to watch basketball. If you're from New York, you don't even have to watch Yo, basketball. For real. But if you see the Yankees, if you see the Knicks, if you see the Giants, like, bro, the whole entire, like, state, country, I mean, whatever, bro, they they all come together. Nah, yeah, it's yeah, like a yeah. whole for force. Real, you know what I'm real. saying? Like, when it comes to crazy. sports, you're all a family, no matter it's what a family, it is. family, bro. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love when the females get involved, too, because, like, it's like, it really makes the family because they start cooking. Yeah, they start, like, yeah. They start, like, they, they energy is hiding all the energy's higher. They don't even know what's going on, but they make the household feel like, Warm and wholesome, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, they, right. The, they, they invite the boys to come over and everything like that. I love that, man. My, nah, my mother be like, "Yo, I'm like mom, like mommy." I call, I call him mommy. I'm like, "Mommy, why you like, why you like the Giants?" Oh, cause I like the colors. But I mean, like, still, though, if they winning, they winning though. But still, word that's though. That's a fact. That's a fact. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I played soccer first, basketball second, then lacrosse. Like I, basketball, I love basketball, man. Like basketball changed my life, man. My college, school. Became the first dunker in middle school, first dunker in high school. And my son's only like six foot, six foot one. Yeah, literally, like that ass. Like I was doing it. Like I was doing it for basketball. I might say I was crazy, like D one. Yeah. Like, but I was, I was doing it. Like I was really doing it, and I could have made it. But you know, drugs and life and everything else yeah. took over. And hey, I'm not, I don't regret it. Like I said, it like, changed me who I am. I'm happy the way I am. Um, and yeah, for me, like I'm, I'm, if you can't be real with yourself, you can't be real with nobody else. And I'm always real. I'm always real, man. Yeah. Always real. Yomi, I really appreciate you, bro. All right? And uh, just, bro, stay in touch. Of Take course, care, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I really appreciate you, bro. Plug in your handles real quick, bro. Yeah, so social media again, um, IG, not Yomi, with three I's at the end. And that's N-O-T-Y-O-M-I-I-I. Same thing on TikTok, not Yomi. Like I said, I don't have Snapchat, so <laughs> it's over for that. Um, you look, follow me, hit me up, like, comment, everything. Hit me up just to talk, chill, whatever I'm down for, whatever. Just to bring up somebody's day and make you laugh. I can do it all. So, man, why not? Appreciate that, bro. Of course. Right. That's another wrap for the Breakdown Podcast. My son Yomi just dropped another dime. And, bro, deep convo, good knowledge. Please take that in, bro. I'm telling you, bro, wise words of wisdom. You only can grow from experience, okay? Facts, facts. And, yo, thank you guys for tuning in again. Go, yo, go like and subscribe. Please go like and subscribe. Show nah, some love. Yeah, hell Show yeah, love hell to yeah. the Knicks as well. The Knicks just advanced the second round. All right, boy, they're about to verse the Heat. So go watch that. If anybody from New York watching, bro, it's a whole community that we're watching. We love the Knicks. We love the Giants, Yankees, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all come together. Facts, facts. All love. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Sports community, whatever community, bro. Damn, we all yeah. love that, right? So peace and prosperity. God bless you all. And we out. Oh.